What's happening, crypto lovers and blockchain enthusiasts? We looked into the market yesterday and we were a little bit negative ish positive. However, today I'm more optimistic. When I look into the market, I see, of course, like everybody else, green signs everywhere. The percentages are showing signs on the bullish side, the bullish level. However, among the top 10 of the cryptos, currently only Bitcoin and Stellar is giving bullish sentiment. The rest of the coins are either negative or uh, neutral. Uh, to be more precise, Ethereum and Cardano is showing negative signs or a bearish sign and the rest of the top 10 except Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stellar and Cardano, everyone else is on a, on a neutral level. Now, yesterday it was almost feeling something like the Great Depression of the 1930s and I'm more optimistic right now. When I look into the market, of course on the Bitcoin side, as long as today the market closes above the 6,300 level, we are up for a bullish run initially towards 6,700 or to be more precise 6,698 and from there onwards it, the next target is 7,120 and last but not least 7,650. This is my personal expectation from Fibonacci analysis perspective. Now, However, if we see a break below the today's lowest low that stands at 6,100-ish levels, more or less. So, if you see a big break below 6,100, I will be expecting another dip, and this time the target will be somewhere at the vicinity of 5,400 level. Moving on to Ethereum, Ethereum is also showing uh, when I trade Forex. Uh, traditional I come for, uh, from the forex trading background as well so I call it a candlestick which which is a sword candle basically sword candle is some people will call it doji some people will call it I don't know engulfing many many different names however if you go and open up your ethereum chart on daily time frame you will see a doji or a sword candle and that sword candle is taking place, uh, make, making a lowest low of 251 uh, and that's itself a, a good sign at the moment for Ethereum traders or investors. As long as the market today closes above the yesterday's high side, which was 289, we are here to see a bullish run from Ethereum. Initially the target is 315 and from there onwards I will be expecting 418 as my target. However, if we do see a break below 250, 248 as I said yesterday, in that case my goal is going to be 156. However, 156 is not really a very bad sign. It is rather you know, equilibrium point from the from from the Ethereum's demand perspective. If we see that level from that moment onward, I'm completely bullish. I'm buying it myself. This is not really a buy recommendation or sell recommendation. It's my opinion. But from there onwards, there is only one target, and that's 750 ish levels. That's a multiple return uh, on your investment overall speaking. Now, from the news perspective, we see good news anyway in the market. It's not really any, any important negative news happening in the market. Uh, there is more good news on blockchain technology side. As an example, China is issuing invoices uh, that, that we have uh, Goldman Sachs investing on um, uh, enterprise blockchain solution. Then we have, uh, we, we have stock exchanges moving on blockchain multiple dimensions uh, in multiple levels and at the uh, and one more good information here is that uh, Vitalik from Ethereum has finally made another uh, amendment or, uh, or developed the protocol to, to such an extent that now you don't just need 50% of the nodes to be able to hack the system but you need 99% and that's logically speaking unhackable. Now, from the ICO side, uh, it is of course the almost end of the summer, 
So I believe ICOs are going to be picking up again in September and October, but the biggest bull run is expected to take place in October from my perspective and our team's perspective. Uh, but nonetheless, at the moment, you see still good results for a lot of ICOs. Uh, the only bad thing about ICOs uh, is on the investor side at the moment, because of the seasonality impact, uh, many of the ICOs are, are not giving a good ROI. So my recommendation for you is to look into those of the projects that do have uh, MVP or, or beta or, uh, or at least something that is demonstrable for you and do not invest in anything that just comes with a cool idea. That's my two minutes for today. Uh, this is your Gregor from ATC Markets and I'll see you tomorrow with another uh, session. Take care.